Hey, it's Ashley at Smart Edition Academy. And in today's video, we are going to go through a HESI review of multiplying and dividing fractions. So today we're going to talk about multiplying a fraction by a fraction, simplifying fractions, and a little trick I like to call cross canceling, and then multiplying fractions by whole numbers or mixed numbers, as well as dividing fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers. Okay, so before we jump in, be sure to check out the links in the description of this video where you will find links to a free HESI practice test, a free HESI bootcamp, the Smart Edition HESI online course, and our HESI Facebook study group. Okay, so let's jump into multiplying and dividing fractions. So multiplying fractions is nice and easy. We All we have to do is go across the top and across the bottom. So I'm going to multiply two times four which is eight, and three times five, which is 15, okay? We don't need common denominators. We don't need to convert fractions to anything. In this case, all we do is multiply across the top and across the bottom. And then we just wanna check and see if we can simplify. Okay, we always wanna get in the habit of doing that. And eight fifteenths, that they don't share any factors. So that would be our final answer. Okay, three fifths times one ninth. Again, all you do is go across the top and across the bottom. So three times one is three. Five times nine is 45. Okay, and then I have to figure out if there are any common factors here so that I can simplify. Um, so I know that three goes into both of these. So if I divide by three, I will get one fifteenth, and that would be my final answer. So I'm going to show you a quick trick here that I call cross canceling. So in this example, if we had three fifths times one ninth, if I look at the problem and I see that there is a number on the top and a number on the bottom that share a factor, okay, then I know that I can simplify and I could kind of simplify before I multiply. That's called cross canceling. It tends to be a little bit easier. So notice how three and nine share a factor, right? Three can be divided by three and you're left with one. Nine can by, be divided by three and you get three. So cross canceling allows me to cancel something from the top and the bottom and make it simpler to multiply from the beginning. So then one times one is one, five times three is 15 and I am done simplifying before I solve the problem. Okay, so we'll do some cross canceling in some of the examples we do together today. But remember, this is for multiplying and dividing specifically, okay? This is a specific skill or a specific tip for when you're multiplying and dividing fractions. So let's look at an example. One half times three fourths. Okay, one half times three fourths. If I just go across the top and across the bottom, I get three over eight, okay? Want to ask yourself, can I simplify? Do they share any factors? And in this case, they do not. So three eighths would be my final answer. How about two thirds times five six? So I could go across the top and across the bottom. Five times two is 10, three times six is 18. And then I would need to reduce. So divide each of these by, it looks like two goes into both. Okay, and I get five over nine. If I had tried cross canceling, okay, two thirds times five, six, two and six share a factor of two. So if I divide this by two, I get one. If I divide this by two, I get three. And then when I multiply across the top and then across the bottom, I get five ninths. So I get done with my simplifying in the beginning. So both strategies totally work. It's just a matter of do we simplify before or after we multiply. So you just choose a strategy that works for you, okay? Now, sometimes we're going to need to multiply our fractions times whole numbers or fractions times mixed numbers. So it's a very similar process. In this example, I have nine tenths times three. What can be helpful is to think of three as three over one. And then I can just go through and multiply across the top. Nine times three is 27, across the bottom, 10 times one is 10. And then I wanna simplify, and in this case, I actually need to turn this into a mixed number because it is a top-heavy fraction, an improper fraction, right? The top is bigger than the bottom. 
So 10 goes into 27 twice. Okay, that would be 20 with seven left over. So two and seven tenths. And I cannot simplify that any further. So that would be my solution. Now, what do I do when I have a mixed number? Okay, I might wanna turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So then I can just multiply across the top and across the bottom. So how we do that is we take three and a half, we do the two times three, which would be six plus one more. This is the same thing as seven halves. Three and one half is the same thing as seven halves. And then I can go across the top and go across the bottom. Okay, I am going to do a little cross canceling. 10 and two share a factor of two. So 10 divided by two is five, two divided by two is one. And five times seven is 35. 11 times one is just 11. Okay, and now I want to turn this into a mixed number, right? We always wanna go from an improper fraction to a mixed number here. So 11 goes into 35, 11, 22, 33, three times. And then, so that would be 33. I'd have two left over, three and two elevenths. Okay, so let's look at a few HESI examples for you to try. Four times five, six. So remember, when we have a whole number, we want to write it over one. So four over one times five over six. Okay, you could try to do some cross canceling if you want. Or you could just go across the top and the bottom. Four times five is 20. One times six is six. Okay, I have that top heavy fraction, so I need to convert it into a mixed number. Six goes into 23 times. Six times three is 18, so I would have two left over. Okay, but three and two sixths is not totally simplified. I can turn this into three, and if I divide two and six by two, I get three and one third. Three and one third. Okay, so very important skill here is being able to go from a mixed number to an improper fraction and from an improper fraction to a mixed number. Okay, so here is another Hesse example, one and a half times one and one sixth. So I'm going to turn these into improper fractions and then multiply. Two times one is two plus one more is three. So this is three halves times six times one is six plus one more is seven. So three halves times seven six. And I can do a little cross canceling, make my life a lot easier. Remember, this is a timed exam, so we want to use our time wisely. Cross canceling is a strategy that can help you do that. One times seven is seven, two times two is four. And then if I convert this into a mixed number, four goes into seven once, We'll have three left over, so one and three, oops, one and three fourths. One and three fourths. There we go. Okay, so, so far we have multiplied fractions by fractions, multiplied fractions by whole numbers, multiplied fractions by mixed numbers, okay? We are going to look at division, and if we can multiply fractions, we can divide fractions. Okay, so I want you to think about that. If this is something that is a little intimidating to you, if you can multiply fractions, you can divide them. So the key that we need in order to divide this, I have three tenths divided by one half, is I want you to think about fried chicken, okay? K, C, F, okay? So not K, F, C, this time we're talking K, C, F. What this means is keep, change, flip, okay? Keep, change, flip. So when we do division of fractions, keep, change, flip allows me to turn this into a problem that I already know. So three tenths divided by one half. So what that looks like is we keep our three tenths, we change our division to multiplication, and we flip one half, to be two over one, we call this the reciprocal. So when we divide fractions, we're really just multiplying by the reciprocal, but all you have to think is keep, change, flip. 
Okay, and then I can just go across the top and the bottom. Maybe you see that we could cross cancel here. I have a two on the top and the 10 on the bottom. Divide by two, and when you go across, three times one is three, five times one is five. Three fifths would be my final answer. Okay, let's just do a couple examples of division together. One half divided by five six. Keep, change, flip, okay? Keep my one half. Change division to multiplication, flip five six to six fifths, and multiply across. If you've got the cross canceling down, go ahead and try it. I'm gonna just go across the top and the bottom and then simplify. Six over 10. And then these both can be divided by two. So I get three fifths. Okay. Here's another example. Maybe you want to pause the video, try this one on your own. Okay, if you want to follow along, we are going to do two thirds, keep it, change division to multiplication and flip three fifths to be five thirds. Okay, and you can check for cross canceling. I don't see anything here. So I'm just going to go across the top. Two times five is 10. Across the bottom, three times three is nine. 10 ninths. So remember, we need to turn that into a mixed number. Nine goes into 10 once with one left over, one and one ninth. Okay, so just the way that we could multiply fractions by whole numbers and mixed numbers, we can divide. So if we just use the same strategy, keep, change, flip, let's see what happens. Keep, change, flip. So two thirds stays, change division to multiplication and flip. So remember four is four over one. So when I flip it, that becomes one over four. Okay, and then I can go across the top and across the bottom to 12. If you had cross canceled before, or now we just have to simplify, you should get your final answer is one sixth. Okay, last example that we will do together today, we are going to again do keep change flip, but here is an important step first when we are doing mixed numbers, turn the mixed number into an improper fraction first, and then we can use our strategy. So one and five twelfths is, so 12 times one is 12, plus five more is 17 twelfths divided by, oops, 17 twelfths divided by one, two times one is two plus one more is three. So this is the same thing as three over two. Now I can keep change flip. 17 twelfths stays the same, division changes to multiplication and flip three halves to be two over three. I'm going to cross cancel first, divide by two, divide by two. And when I go across the top and then across the bottom, I get 17 eighteenths as my final answer. Okay, so multiplying dividing fractions is not as scary as it looks. And I hope you found this video helpful. Let us know in the comments below and make sure you check out the rest of our videos and our free HESI resources in the description of this video.